Welcome back to All the Mods 9. I put this sign here so I can remember to look into potentially finding a better water source for the fission reactor down there because that thing's draining too much damn water and I don't know a better way to get water ended there. But another thing that I want to do is to look into other mods today. Because we've spent so much time doing mechanism, I think it might be a cool thing to play with some other mods now since we've done so much over here like yeah it's good it's good that we did this and you know that that we're making progress here and we're doing antimatter and whatnot and that we've got power that we have power going in here that's also cool but uh ultimately i think that i'd like to make some more progress elsewhere because that would be pretty cool i think so what I'm going to do is we're actually going to go through the quest book. And why? Why are my frames struggling so much? It must be just because I loaded in. So we'll go over here and let's look into some of the mods that are related to the ATM star. Oh boy. Yeah, so we have one antimatter pellet. We need a gravitational module. Okay, so we need one more in order to complete this portion uh, for mechanism here. But we also need to make stuff with pneumaticraft, which we have made a little bit. But we need an even bigger pressure chamber. I thought I already had this. Oh, do I need to like hold these in my hand or something? I don't know. Maybe. What the hell? An infinity nuke? Oh, I guess you charge it in the more RF it has. It blows it up. What in the world? I don't even know about all that. Man, there's so many mods. There really is. There's so many stuff and things. Oh, maybe we just do um, evil craft because we we were gonna do evil craft anyway. So it might be good to do that. Let's uh let's take ourselves to bed because the evil craft also has the um, infinite water block that we were looking at. This one here, the eternal water block. So it might be cool to do that. Let's just put the let put this stuff away in here. Cause I don't need this no more. We'll put our magnet back on. So the issue I was having last time, I think, was trying to get souls from Evil Craft. Yeah, we were trying to get this. When you kill a mob, a vengeance spirit will spawn. Their essence seems to be useful in crafting more advanced items. Do I need something specific to kill them? I know we can we have this, and if we enable it, more will spawn when we kill mobs, but I was noticing that I couldn't actually get the spirits. I think we have a thingy over here. Yeah, so I didn't clear this out. But how do I kill that? How do I kill that vengeance spirit? Is there a way to do that? I am confusion. I do not know. How do you get this? How do you kill them? Oh, look at all this stuff. I haven't looted over here. Oh, hello. And goodbye. Damn, he must have, uh, exploded. Yeah, how do we kill these? There has to be a way. There has to be a way. I ain't got no freaking idea. Let's make this vein sword. I don't know what you do. But we got this. Oh, okay. And we got the vein sword. Collect more blood. That's all. And we got a blood infusion core. And we got crushed dark gems. Okay. Okay, so apparently there's a ring... Walk faster and efficiently. No, I don't see one. But this is a ring, and that's pretty neat. Look into the spirit world. But then you need Garmbosia. Garmonbosia. I have no idea. Is it this? The spirit freezing beam? Oh, that sounded neat. Okay, so I need to... Do I need to craft another one of these then? Probably. We need to go find somebody to kill. Yeah, come here, sheep. And then we do... Is that what we do? This is a right-click to enable Vengeance Spirit Freezing Beam. Well, that's what that does. Then we need one to kill them. Oh, I see. And then we need to craft these blood orbs. We need to craft two empty orbs. Okay. And then we need end crystals. We can make those. That's fine. That is no problem to me. Oh, we need chorus fruits. Well, we have some of those. Let's just take some. Let's go back to the house over here. And we're going to chuck these in the furnace. 
If we chuck these in the furnace, they will become whatever the hell that was. Promise of tenacity? Is that needed? I suppose so. Well, give me one of these. And then we need to make this thing. So this. And then we need to make a bowl of promises, which is a dusted bowl of promises. Promise. Do we need the, the tenacity thing? I sure hope we don't. We might, though. Let me check that in there. Nice. Can we do this? Nope. We need to make that other thing. So I guess we do need that promise of tenacity or whatever. Okay. Well, we're going to do evil craft. We're going to bloody things up. This will be interesting. It's going to be fun to get into a different mod now. So we can still do a bowl of promises tier zero. We need a bowl of empty promises, which needs three of these. Ugh. Bam, bam, bam. Go. Is there a faster blood infuser? Nope. Nope. Give me those. Now we can go into here. Craft this bowl of empty promises or whatever. Then we need to make this. Wait, do we do we put that in there? Yeah. We gotta make the the tier zero. Wait a minute. Oh, there you go. You're going. Yeah, look at you go. I'll probably end up putting like a tank over here for the blood. Uh, because I did see that there is one storing fluids. There's a dark tank. Because we want to store blood. Let's do that. Oh, you're done. Nice. Okay. And then we need to craft this. Go. Are you going to do it? No. Oh, wait a minute. Do I need anything for this? Oh, I need more blood. That's why. Well, you know what? You guys have blood, don't you? Yeah. Sorry. Uh-uh. You get out of here. I'm gonna freeze you. Yeah, go away. Get froze. Is that enough blood? No. We need more blood. Um. Oh, this Enderman's still here. You know what, buddy? Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. You're doing us a service. Oh, <gasps> egg. Mm, baby chicken. Damn it. Look at all of our chickens, though. Look at all of you guys. Baby, chicken, baby, chicken. <gasps> we got one! Yeah! It took so long. It's been forever. Now now we get another one. Watch. We did. Oh, sorry, bud. Okay. Oh, why is there a chicken outside? Anyway. Enemy. Dead enemy. Oh, he, he gave us a loot explosion. Give me more blood. I need more blood. Thank you. We'll definitely need to look into automated blood. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a very easy way to do that. Oh, goodbye you. You exploded. Why do you have an enchantment on there? Oh, you had it on your blue helmet. Goodbye. Oh, it broke already. What? That's crazy. I didn't know that happened. Okay, so let's put some blood in there. And then we have some more to put in here. Oh, we don't have enough. Go in there. There we go. Now it's charging up. Yeah. There we go. We're doing it to them. Let's go and grab some loot. What's our quest in here? It says we have one. Oh, down here. We got a block of gold. Heck yeah. Okay, we got that now. Now we can make the promise of tenacity. Machine tier upgrade, also usable for lower tier recipes. Tank capacity times two. Okay, so we've upgraded our machine. I see. And then we need those two things. So then we need to put the blood in here. Does this need even more blood? It needs 10k. Damn! Okay, let's look into uh, better ways to get blood. Well, we got this upgrade. We got a golden egg? What in the hell? Delightful dirt and all that stuff for farmland okay better blood okay so we can like put spiked thingies down here and then we need to make a sanguine what was that sanguine was it a oh, powered sanguinary sanguine pedestal we're gonna probably run out of gems here so this how far can this collect from so like if i place it here and we place spikes spiked plate what if i do this Get out of there. Does this collect from that? No. Do I have to place it under there? Do I have to set it up under it? 
like that yeah i do okay well that'll be free blood i suppose we just have to be able to get under there so let's do that then let me in now what the hell are you doing here okay so it's right here sanguinary blood hell yeah oh what the hell just happened we are back and now we can craft this importer hopefully now this should hopefully export the blood maybe we need a fluid pipe to put it into a some kind of fluid container oh i'm silly i didn't have to do that at all i forgot to change the freaking importer that's literally the only reason it's because i forgot to change the importer to uh do liquid like a goober so that one will slowly fill up our fluid grid with blood but we probably want more which means we need we're gonna need more dark gems but how do we get these easily with freaking bees oh we have to do bees really we gotta get a dark gem bee actually we probably do unfortunately how do you get a dark gem oh i need a gene sample from a dark bee to do that okay so we need a diamond bee to turn it into a dark gem bee so we need more bee stuff which means we're gonna need to make this a more big this operation needs to be much larger damn it we i don't i think we lost all of our oh we didn't lose all of our bees we just lost some of them okay well what do i want to build this with you know what i'm not gonna venture into this real quick i'm gonna stay away from that and we're gonna do another network thingy over here to uh affect this area this is gonna be our blood area for now this is all in one chunk oh, this part is oh well so we're gonna place this mm, i probably want to place it where it can have some space we can use the ruined carved stone i'm gonna place this here and we'll replace that there and now we need a network card thing yep a network card and now we need a uh transmitter and we'll make it red for blood i don't even know you could dye these things that must be like new i don't know that must be new place that there oh we didn't use the network card on that box whoopsies so let's use it on this and we will place it in here bam okay now we can access the network and also remove the blood from here give me that now we can do an exporter we'll just do an elite one on the back of this and then we will output some blood give me that and then do that yeah now this should hopefully get filled up with blood over time oh we actually have quite a bit of blood that's really nice we have so much crap we need speed upgrades give me those and let's just uh do that so this thing's gonna go now which is very awesome and we'll probably set this up for auto crafting also with the blood uh, later on, once we have more blood going and we have more of an idea of what this entails, the whole evil craft mod, because this is the first thing that I'm doing for this mod, really. Like the first in-depth thing. So, progress. But we do need more dark gems, and we're not getting any from our little machine that's in here that's doing our mining. Oh, we got another award. Another reward. Hardened blood. We are making progress. How many blood orbs do we have? You're almost done. And then we're not going to be able to get the next one because we don't have enough blood. We got one. Oh, we do have enough blood. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. My bad. I lied. I thought we weren't going to have enough. Well, look, it shows how much I know. Is it a dark temple? Oh, that's with the uh, environmental accumulator. Oh, uh, do we have that compass? The structure compass. Dark? Oh, Defark? Evil craft dark temple select 1800 blocks let's go visit one because we have our weather container on us we might as well let's go is it this it is neat dark temples quest complete i think i've already been to one of these before get a dark gem they have a massive beam in the center we can use this and to empower and create several items that we'll need along with the way including lightning bombs um I don't know if I need to cardboard box this or not, so I but I will. Oh, there's stuff and things in here. I'll take the Art Nouveau stuff, because I know we'll need it. Oh wait, was there blood in there too? Yeah, we'll take that. And more blood. 
Nice. Okay. Well, we're going to take that away from you because it's mine. Oh, look at this. This is that cool little thingy I haven't done yet. And this awesome little place we went down so long ago. Man, I think that was like 15 episodes ago. That's crazy. Okay, well, we should be able to now come over to here. Oh, there we go. So now we have an environmental accumulator. Oh, it did it. It's charging. My only sunshine. We did it. I didn't even know about that. So is this dead now? Oh, does it need to like... Oh, it's charging up. I see there's a charge bar at the top. Well, that's cool. I just guessed. I had no idea that's what was going to happen. That's really freaking sweet. But now we can make this, right? We can do that now? The et eternal water block? Can we? That would be really sick. I sure hope I can. That would be really freaking awesome. Did I already do what I needed to do? Or what I wanted to do? Eternal water blocks. We just need a dark block. And then... We can make the eternal water blocks. Oh my goodness. Okay, so uh, the plan, the plan here, scram this, change it to burn rate one. Now we need to disconnect all of these. Is that all of them disconnected? Okay. And now what I want to try is this. Um, activate this. So none of these are connected to it at all. Oh, well, this is, but... So, we just have that connected. Okay. Oh, we're good. Let's try 50. We're still good. Holy crap, but this thing is super full. What? Oh, because this is taking in input still. So, what if we remove that? I hope that doesn't break stuff. Let's scram this first so this stops producing. I want to replace these first. And we're going to go up. Yeah, I want to make sure that we're good to go here. Do that. Turn this back on. We have all of the water disconnected except for this. The sink I don't think matters. Those are disconnected completely. So, really, one of these. No shot. Oh, man. Let's bump this up. Oh. Yeah, because this thing is getting pumped out of water. We have a bunch of water up here. Is that going to be a problem? Man, this, this water block is going to save my behind. That means we can do our max rate, right? Right? Is this going to matter? That it's almost full? Well, we're at 7.3 million. And we're completely even on the fissile fuel. And we're not running out of water at all. Oh, yes. Ooh. Let's go. Holy crap. That's freaking sick, dude. I am so happy about that. Whoever mentioned this. Actually, I'm going to go look up your name right now. Maddie Khan, thank you for mentioning this block. Holy crap, this thing is freaking sick. I don't have to do this stupid sink lo little thing that I was doing over here anymore. Just get out of here. <laughs> Holy crap, man. That's so awesome. Ooh -wee. Now we need to bump up the fissile fuel stuff, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. We're not going to worry about this. We're just going to let this keep going. And we're going to let this run at its max output. So we can also get the maximum amount of antimatter. Oh, which looks like we got another pellet for. So that is sick. Now we have both of those pellets needed for the ATM star quest. Yeah, over here. Two of these. What do I need to do to get over to here? Click here to start the quest line. What do you mean? I'm already done with this stuff. Mechanism advanced. We already did that one. We need to do this. I don't even know. But for some reason, I can't collect any quests here. Is there like an intro quest area? This has 0%. This has 0%. Coil. Says we're not done. I haven't held an HDPE sheet either. Well, I have 50,000 of them. So yeah, go ahead and tell me that I can't. You goober. You freaking goober. Oh, well, I guess we can't access these quests. But we're done with this. And then we can make this gravitation gravitational module unit, whatever the hell that was. Um, anyway, we made the eternal water buckets, which is super freaking cool. I am super excited about that. But now we can also craft the piercing vengeance focus because we got our blood orbs done. And we're gonna how much blood do we have now? Oh, we're gonna be we're gonna be chilling with blood. At least I hope we are. <laughs> but we have this now. 
And we can use a beam of death. So let's go over to this tower again and kill some of these mobs. We're going to unalive these bad boys so they can give us stuff and things if any of them will spawn. What the hell are these? Ancient gold coins from Greg Tech. Bronze. I think those got retextured. Where are the mobs? Oh, you're all down here. Whoa. Oh, we have returned. And it is dangerous. Yeah, I don't know what keeps crashing me, but I uninstalled something that I was trying to get working, which is the replay mod, because it would have been really cool for like builds and stuff. But it doesn't like to work alongside Forge very well. And yes, there are a couple of mods that try to make it work. But unfortunately, it was also bugging out with a lot of the mod modded blocks. So unfortunately, we can't do that for this series. So, oh, well, I wonder if I can come into here and kill stuff. And then did that give me anything? Didn't give me that. Well, it's probably because it's going to get filled up in there. Well, let's uh, do this then. Let's put one here. Oh, I didn't want to put two. So let's put one in there. So if we do get any, I hope we can get some doing this. They want to eat me for some reason. I wonder if we got any. Now that we put them in there. We did. Nice. We have 14 total. And they're in our network. So later, hopefully, we can figure out some kind of automation for that. Anyway, we have 14 of them. So let's go back to Evilcraft. I thought I was going to crash again. So we have this complete now. We got some dark gems. Now we're going to get some condensed blood. Okay. Oh, I should have just freaking looked at this quest first. Maybe. Oh, well, maybe not. That wouldn't have been... Mob Farms Using Blood has its own mob farm. 33 dark blood bricks. With these, we'll build a structure that is strong enough to contain the summoned spirits. You also need a spirit trapped in a box of eternal closure. Oh, so we can build a spirit furnace. Okay, well, let's move. Damn, I'm just going to pick these up. Unfortunately, they're going to lose their souls, but I think that's okay. Just gonna chuck all this away for now so I can build out my cool little new home that I want to have. Deep slate. Oh, it's right here. I did put it away. Look at me being all silly. So I will need to pick this up, which means I need to get that dark tank back. Where is it? Where you at? There you is. Now we can grab this blood and we can put that in there. Okay, we've got blood in there now. All right, now we're going to do... We're just going to fill this in. I hope we don't lose the blood that's in there. Okay, it still has the blood. Nice. Well, this is in the chunk, which is good. It's just unfortunate where it is. Yeah, I need to do the edges with this because I like it. All right. Mm, oh, this overlaps over here. That's fine. I think I'd like to move this to the corner right there. So I'm going to do that. Move that there. We'll move this too. And probably this as well. We'll put this right on the edge over here of glory. But we need to go reapply this. And we can chuck this back in here. Uh, there. Let's go to sleep. All right. Now, let's go ahead and go on here and reset up this stuff. I think I'm going to set this um, still right here, right in front of this. I'm going to do liquid or fluid. And now we need to set. We need to get a blood bucket again. Let me do that. Put that back in there. Okay, now we can do this and re-upgrade this mug. Right on. All right, now we have this little starter blood area. Ah, here they are. I was looking for the graves. I could not see them. And we'll do those. We'll just place those here. Is this place uh, chunk loaded? Yeah, we're chunk loaded. Holy crap, we've been playing for 87 days total. Oh my gosh, even longer than that. That's crazy. Well, not playing every day, of course. <laughs> okay, so we have this done now. We have that portion complete. Let me go back into Evilcraft and see where we were at. So we were going to do this. I'm going to make this furnace, which we are going to need more dark stone or not dark stone. Um, deep slate floor, because I would like to go and turn this into that runic stuff it's called runic. Oh, we can search. Bam. We got some more. We can do one more row. 
still not on the edge of glory but that's fine you can do that all right what do we need for this we need dark bricks and dark bricks and need dark blocks which need dark gems bro these things are so expensive is there a way to get dark ore elsewhere or dark gems even what about dark blocks nope well shoot do we get any when we're doing like our boon of the earth thing took all this junk away i think i'm going to first i'd like to do my stack upgrades up i'd like to upgrade my stack upgrades please let's upgrade these so we can hold even more stuff and things well anyway we have two more stack upgrades so that is good we can stack up to 4096 <laughs> my cat's got the zoomies she's running around like crazy right now freaking adorable okay we are as cleared out as i'm gonna be we shall go sorry before we go let's make that mechanism suit upgrade that removes the penalty for mining or refinement increase increases or yields what in the world did make refined glowstone i'm gonna pin that because that sounds cool oh we can make these too we can do four of these so then we can take off this backpack okay here we go this is what we needed this the gyroscopic st stabilization thing so now we can take this off and we should be able to install these did that not work we have vision enhancement why isn't uh do i have to turn that on well let's put uh these on our boots what do these go on oh the pants that doesn't make sense why wouldn't they go on the boots this goes on oh a mecha tool oh okay that doesn't even go on our suit what the hell why why is it on now i'm very confused all right well at least uh oh it's on g what in the hell it's on g change this to keypad seven i guess i don't know okay there we go so now night vision is on at all times sweet now we don't have to have that weird backpack on us anymore say goodbye to our weird backpack everybody it's not coming back all right is this thing doing its job it sure looks like it look at this isn't this crazy this is nuts we're gonna do a bunch of mining so let's see what we can get we're gonna upgrade our dank all the way up to dank seven can we go higher that's as high as we can go okay oh well now i can stack a ton so look at that let's sort this holy moly we gonna have so much now we can turn void pickup off and we can just keep mining i wonder if is there like a mechanism feeding module there is automatically feeds the player nutritional paste when hungry all right well also we're gonna teleport home we haven't used the home command in a while because i would like to make that feeding module thing because we're running into an issue where i can't mine enough we need to make this into this this goes on the helmet so let's put it on the helmet now hopefully nutritional paste do we have to make that i think so okay well what in the world so we're doing a little journey here where we are setting up nutritional paste are we growing wheat now no let's grow some wheat we can set up a crafter to turn we'll say that we want to keep bread stored i guess that's what we'll do i'm gonna keep bread stored so let's make a bread crafting pattern let's do this put this as a pattern and chuck it in there okay now we're gonna get bread and then we need to tell the bread to get output into here so then it'll auto output the bread and turn it into toast and then we'll put an exporter on here and we will do an elite exporter here and then we need to do an importer we'll do an elite importer on this side this should take out of the top and we need cable so we do that now it should be hooked up and oh we need a point let's put a point on here put it on output network then we will set this to sorry set this to output the new toast this needs to output fluids there we go and i definitely want to mute this sound yeah that was horrible yep go ahead and make me some of that now for the nutritional paste i have to put this not in a florb <laughs> i think i need to make like a tank upgrade 
Only two times stack upgrades can be used in spruce diamond barrel. Huh? You bastard. Whatever. Okay, so we have that. Do we have to have like a canteen of it? Well, I guess we'll see when we come down here and start mining, huh? But how much can this hold? 64,000? Is that it? Is that all it can hold? Is there a way then to pump fluids into my inventory? Like into an item? Uh, From the network, I don't think there is. I have no idea. I have no idea. Like at all. I feel like that should be something that I should be able to do though. So if we do that, then we can store 2 million of something. And then we have do a fluid tank and then we can output fluid from the network. There we go. So what would be the best way for me to fill this up? Can I? Ooh, we're getting some. We don't even have any left. Nice. Well, we got that at least. We have some nutritional stuff and things now. That's pretty neat. Even though it was being a pain in the ass. But hey, we got it done. Let's go night night. We're going to see how much freaking mining I can do. All right, I'm going to get to it. Oh, I have to store the fluid in the helmet. I see. Okay. Well, shoot. I didn't know that. I thought I had to put it in this canteen. But that means we can just store a ton of nutritional fluid in there then. And we can mine for ages. Hopefully, at home, there's a bunch of uh, stuff being made and we're crafting that. Or are we already out? Yep. Did we get any dark stone from this? We got prosperity, but still no dark stone. Let's uh, go back home again. I wish we didn't have to see all these creative ones, man. Why won't you input? Import the fluid. Import the fluid! Whatever, I'm just going to do this. Did we output all of it? No, we did not. Why can't I output again? That's so odd. We literally just did. Okay, I guess we have to do this. Oh, the helmet's getting close to its limit, I think. Yeah, it's full. 128,000. Oh, we have a bunch more. There has to be a way for me to get that into there. Oh, well. Well, we got 128,000 nutrition paste in there, so that should hopefully hold us off for a little bit. All right, let's get back to business. Yeah, guys, so I did some uh, off-screen mining. Yeah, you know. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff. <laughs> I mean, we we really went super freaking far with this. And I didn't get a single dark stone, so I'm going to assume that there's no dark stone in here. So we're going to probably have to go back to the surface to mine, because I didn't get any damn dark stone at all. Yeah, look how freaking far we went. We went super far. Oh my goodness. There's so much exposed ore too. And so much we didn't even pick up. Oh, we're finally here. Yeah, that took a long time. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I have to go to the surface. Unfortunately, where even is over here? Yeah. Yeah, we're probably going to have to go mine at the surface if we want some dark stone, which is unfortunate. Also, we could do bees, but I don't want to. Um. Also, here's how much food we used. We used... 25,000 nutritional paste. So we still have a lot. Go ahead and just yoink the rest of that. There we go. Now let's just go to bed. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go mine <laughs> in the overworld. Because I, I cannot find... Actually, did we put everything away? No. Let's do that then. And honestly, we just take the tank upgrade out at this point. Oh, do we have some left over? Yeah, we do. Deposit that in there. Get some more spice in our inventory, then we'll uh go mine, I suppose. Are there dark gems down here? Are there any stabbers down here? If you get that reference, we can be friends. If not, then go away. Sorry. Okay, so we need to mine like I think somebody was mentioning that it's like on this level. I think there's some all over. They might be lower um with the mine changes. Have we found any yet? No, we just found magnetite. I know I've found it much more lower. I just, uh, yeah, Deep Slate Dark Ore exists. So I would assume we can go lower. Yeah, screw it. Let's do that. Oh, yeah, we can make something called the Atomic Disassembler. What in the hell? What does this do? What do you do? 
You just mine? Oh yeah, very fast too, damn. Damn, son. I don't think we found any dark stone still. Nope. We might be too low for it. Whoa, what the hell? Stellarite piece block. What does this do? Oh, this is used for the Hephaestus forge, but you need multiple Stellarite pieces. Okay. Well, I guess we'll do that at some point, I suppose. Surely we find some in here. In this whole ass ravine. Why can't I find any, man? I feel super rare for some reason. How much are we at? 121k. We're still chilling. Oh, we found some. Oh, there's some more. Okay, so Y15, we found some at, at this level. Okay, we have 37 now. So I'm going to go one block lower than if those are spawning right there. Oh, there was some more. We're up to 42. Is there really no other way to get this stuff? Oh, there's some more right there. Well, I don't really know a quicker way to get dark gems. I have some, but I don't think I'm going to have enough for everything that I need to do. And so we might have to get into the bees, which is fine, I guess. I just really, honestly, I don't want to do that too much. Do we have um any bees in any bee cages? We have an ender bee. I think the ender bee we can turn into a draconic bee, right? Oh, you have to get a Draconic Bee by itself. Okay. So we're going to need more Dragon's Breath, which we should have some of. Yes, we do. We just need a Bee Cage. Yeah, we're going to need another Draconic Bee for the Bee stuff so we can get the Bee upgrades coming through. But I guess this means that if we want to do Evil Craft in the best way, we need to do some productive Bees. So I guess we'll just go home and do that. Which means that this is a great time to go ahead and cut the episode here. There's about two and a half more hours of footage here and it starts focusing more on the bees aspect. So I kind of want to leave this video more focused on us doing more of the evil craft. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're all doing well and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.